You hear that? Okay, watch my leg. The rough sea is causing, obviously, and I'm not overdoing this. I'm, I'm holding the phone dead steady in my hand. And there's so much the car's moving right now on this ferry. <laughs> uh, it's really rough out there, I guess. It doesn't look that bad, but I guess maybe it's the wind, but I have two hours of this. It sounds like a helicopter. I just unwrapped the door handle on this side because it wasn't unwrapped, it was black. And someone's like, why is your door handle black? I'm like, I don't know. Maybe Porsche does it that way. And someone's like, nah, man, not Porsche. They didn't talk like that. They weren't that cool. They were like, no, man, that's not like Porsche. Porsche is a purist brand. So I unwrapped the handle and it was actually a bitch. Like whoever wrapped this car did a really good job the way they wrapped that handle. There was like nine different sections that they mapped out and it was really well done because I didn't even know it was wrapped. So that side's done. I'll do the other in a minute. But I want to enjoy some of the reverberations of the noise in this car right now from this car shaking around. And it stopped when I opened the door. Look at the door. Here, hold on. Oh, hold on, so I didn't watch the door. Focus. Yo. So, about four years ago, uh, uh, almost to the date actually, I started making YouTube videos before I was part of DDE. Yeah. Are they good? No. But that's not the point. The point is, I wanted to, I mean, Dame was already doing the videos and I wanted to get involved with DDE, but I wanted to provide value. And even though Damon and I are friends, I'm not just going to be like, hey, can I, can I get a job? So I wanted to learn it. I wanted to understand it. So I made a bunch of videos um, that I put on Facebook and eventually on YouTube. And <laughs> I had fun making them, but they're horrible. I mean, I don't want, I don't want to say they're horrible because that's not really the point. The point is I made them. Because a lot of people, their ego won't let them do something because they're not really good at it. So they don't want to look dumb, so they don't do it at all. Or I didn't give a shit. I just wanted to be successful um, and get out of my job and drive supercars and do all things we're doing now. But what's really crazy when you think about it is the date on these. So let's see if I can do this. Um, so February 1st, 2017, that's only four years ago. That was my first video and I'll get to the content in a second. Now these are all private, but I might make two of them live for you guys if you're interested and wanna watch something really ridiculous. They all have copyright um, claims on them because I use copyrighted music and things like that. But then over here I had some um, M3 content in 2018. March 2018, so really just over three years ago, I went from doing an E46 build and being very excited about it and still love that car, but it was really rough, to now building multiple supercars. So think about what you can do in three years, right? A lot if you wanna do the work. Now it might not be two weeks or two months or whatever. I mean, you have to remember, Damon started this channel five years before any of this and laid the groundwork. So really, I mean, it's like 10 years in the making. Anyways, without ranting too much, I just wanted to show you guys some of this funny shit. And, uh, you know, if you ever thought about doing a YouTube channel, I mean, this is where it starts, man. It's not like it is today. And even today, we'll make videos a year from now, look back at today's video going, wow, we do this and that. The biggest thing to notice is energy was definitely a lot lower and I was 25 pounds skinnier. I was like 34, 35. And then I started filling out as I got older, which I think I look better now. I got a bit of a gut on me right now but I would prefer to have a bit of weight on me than I was really skinny. Like I was like 160 until I was 30 and I'm 210 right now. So imagine me, same height, minus 50 pounds. I was like tiny. So I'm gonna show you guys quickly um, the very first vlog vlog ever filmed independently. And this was when we had an elite uh, page, uh, like a website, it's basically pay membership fee. Oh shit, I got pizza in the oven, hold on. This is my daughter, I made her a pizza. We're good. You see it? Homemade, actually. Like, well, I bought the... I, anyways, I bought the stuff and put it together for her. Uh, we had an elite website. We made, paid like two bucks a month. We made exclusive content. And it was a good idea. It was a lot of work. We learned a lot of lessons along the way. And ultimately, we ended up um, terminating that website because we didn't feel it was delivering the experience that we wanted to deliver. So we used to make videos for Elite. And then with the M3, I just made these just for the uh, Elite members. So I'm gonna play a little clip of uh, my very first um, solo vlog. And then I'm gonna put a challenge out there for you guys. There's there's two other videos that are, I think, hilarious. I'll play, can I even play any of this? Well, there's copyright strike, so maybe I'll just, hold on, my phone's ringing here, hold on. That was Spencer at August Luxury Motor Cars. Did not plan this. He has a buyer for the Lamborghini we're selling. 
Sounds like as of Wednesday, it could be gone. So it's going to be a sad day for Damon. Um, I want to do a challenge for you guys. So, you know, people always say like, if this video gets 15 million likes, I'll do this. Um, let me see what our average likes is in the video before I, I need to make this hard for you guys. You need to do work for it on this one, if you care. So 4,000 likes. Okay, if this video gets 10,000 likes, okay? So if you're watching this right now and you hit the like button, I will make public two very funny yet a little bit cringe videos I made in 2017 before I was part of DDE. It was called How to Survive a Snowstorm. And there's two parts to it. They're three minutes and 40 seconds long. Uh, they have a combined total of 1,100 views. So I made these private because I was like, why are these on the internet right now? They're so bad. But I'll show you guys my first DD vlog now, part of it. And then 10,000 likes. I'll make this stuff uh, public for you guys. You can make fun of me all you want. Hey. Good morning, DD Elite. It's Dave again. A little bit of an update on the E46 M3 project. As you can see here, I have some of the interior. The rest is actually right now with a company who's gonna re-dye the hide, I guess you call it hide, on the seats. This interior is in really good shape. However, it's still 16 years old. So there's some cracking, some fading. So right now, the two front seats and the driver's side door cover. Great lighting. I'll, I'll have about a focus the entire time. You know, take some leather conditioner and do some things on and get it cleaned up and uh, then throw it in the M3, which is currently being wrapped. Later today, I'm gonna take you guys with me to the wrap shop my friend owns that's doing the wrap right now. I'll give you a bit of an update on that. Uh, other than that, I've got my coilovers, which I'll show you. Here are the uh, TC Klein coilovers. Those are so beat to shit. The shocks were all blown. We got them for a good price, so they went in. It was very bouncy. And I didn't really take much time to adjust the damping and whatnot. I just wanted to get the car honestly um, drivable. So I uh, took them out, put stock back in for now. Then I, what I want to do is find somebody who can take these struts and just test them. And then if they need to recalibrate, revalve, whatever. Dave, they're garbage. Still in the garbage and buy new ones. They're like $2,000. Also, great job on the lighting again. 2011 Cadillac Escalade Platinum. I love this thing. I bought this last January here in Canada. For what was a really good deal at the time, that's why I bought it. I actually wanted to get like a Yukon Denali or a Chevy Tahoe. You just couldn't find one, so I picked this up. Being a Platinum, it has the 22-inch wheels. Flex. It has um, like five TV screens. Got Flex. Interior. But as I was mentioning a while ago, I'm probably going to get rid of it. My wife, you know, she's the only one that drives it. I never drive it. I'm divorced it now. Fuel, which is what you expect. And it just seems like it's a bit of a waste. So that's the update from my garage. The interior's here. Today, maybe I'll clean it up or I'll bring somebody to clean it up and show us how to properly clean leather. I don't really know. Lazy. Um, and then, yeah, we'll check out the wrap. See how the wrap's so going. So skinny. What right face now, now? I know that it's all taken apart because I did that. And then the hood's wrap. I'm not sure what else. So let's go over to the wrap shop right now. Let's see how the wrap's going. And um, you know, maybe it's done. I doubt it. No smiling. Let's check it out. <laughs> we're here, here in shop wrap for customs here in Nanaimo. And we're checking on the M3 project. This wrap was and awful. It like, peeled off like two is, days uh, later. Some pieces. So the front bumper's off. It's been that's a voiceover. Sanded, Sick. Out, looks beautiful. The whole car is now dent free, and this is the actual wrap. I think it's a right dent free. It's dent and free. Kieran, I ask him five times a day. What color is it called? Uh, super glossy metallic. Super glossy metallic gray, and in some angles, it actually looks. I actually black. like that color. So as you can see, those paint drips. They actually had to like completely bond to get the paint drips out, which is crazy. It's all bonded and cleaned up. So that's where the person hit it with an axe, I believe it was. Body is. That was true. Straight. And it's getting wrapped now, so that's the update. Well, did the body shop did a horrible job. It was covered in dent still. That's why I said straight. So then uh, you figure about a week here. So a week from today, so probably mid to late next week, the car will be wrapped. And then I've got some wheels that are getting um, powder coated bronze for the car. Then we have the red and black interior, which means that that has to come out. So that's a big job. And then uh, we'll tint the windows at some point black, just so it looks cleaner. Then what else are we doing? There's Chris. Smoky nah. taillights. <laughs> so, I, I hate smoke taillights. I hate that stuff. Still hate it well, now. As you guys probably know, the Mercedes is dead and it can't be fixed. So as it turns out, it has a biodegradable wiring harness and it's like $3,000 to fix. 
So I had to rent a car because the M3 is getting wrapped. Um, luckily, they had an Ultima in stock, so let's go and find more tools to get into. Been trashing R35 since day one. Oh. It's Chris's. Yep. It's just different, less confident. Uh, and that's what it takes, guys. If you want to make YouTube videos or whatever, you're not going to start off being super crazy. I mean, I guess you could. It took us, it took me anyways. Come on my shell a couple of years or so. It's kind of fun to look back. Yo, what up, guys? This is going to be a quick video from me, Dino. My man here is asleep. He's had a fun day. But look how big he's getting. He had to be quite a big boy. Um, Anthony came over. I don't know why. I guess we we're just busy. I didn't uh, film any of it. Anyhow, he says, what's up to everybody? He's been busy grinding on the merch. So he came over today. We did like a little uh, photo shoot type of idea in the backyard. Pulled the aperta down. Yeah, 720 GTR. You should have known that we sent the bar. Now we ain't playing, we get it done. It's DD, baby, a one of one. By the way, you guys, that is the brand new composer track for the 720 GTR reveal. You'll hear the full song on Sunday morning. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Shout out to my boy, composer. Thank you for always making the most epic beats for DD. Now let's continue on with what I was talking about with the merch. And we did the new YSOB collection, which is this center, smaller logo, kind of minimalist, really clean design, as well as uh, we still got the socks and we still have the classic uh, YSOB hat that'll be on the store. But what we did was it was challenging because we essentially had two merch stores. So we had the DD, the shop DD, and the YSOB.com. And we were trying to just combine them without having to remove one of the URLs. So we did a redirect and now everything's on shopdd.com. And what that essentially enables you to do is get one shipping charge. So this drop for the minimalist tee, which is perfect because we're going into summer, it was really hot today, but you know, it cools off in the evenings and it's cool in the morning. So we have this mid-weight hoodie, which is super, super dope. And it's the minimalist right in the center of the chest with the drawstrings. This is a nice like mid-weight hoodie for summer. And it still has, of course, if you flip it up, that's right, it says you son of a bitch underneath. And then we have this whole drip line. So hoodie and uh, the t-shirt's super dope because the t-shirt on the drip has my 11s on the back, like so. Anyhow. This stuff's all gonna drop um, a week from today. So next Friday, if you go to shopdd.com, you'll be able to pick up anything you want from the YSOB collection, anything you want from the DD drip collection, and it's gonna be one shipping charge. And I'm sorry it took us so long to get that sorted out, but this is how it goes sometimes in business. It takes a little finessing and things of that nature to get things all dialed in. Other than that, I didn't really do much today. I did a workout in the garage. Um, hung around with Presley and my wife and that's it, Dino. So I wasn't really into filming anything. I didn't think it was all that spectacular. It was just another boring, average, chill day. It was kind of nice without having to run around with a big, huge camera in my hand. So this is kind of it for my stories. I'm just giving you a quick overview. I wanted to let you guys know about the new YSLB. And again, you already know about the drip line or if you don't, there's your update. We will be doing a really cool um, car reveal, which is the 720 GTR on Sunday on the main channel. So make sure you guys schedule uh, your note. I don't know if you don't have notifications on, go get notifications on. And if you are just randomly watching this channel and you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. We are just shy of, I think, 150,000 subs. And I'm hoping we can get up to maybe 250,000 in the next little while. So. Again, I just want people to sub. If you watch a channel, don't sub and then make another account and then go sub that account thinking that I just want the number. I ain't that guy. I only want the true numbers. In fact, let's talk about that for a sec. On the main channel, it says we have uh, 2,850,000 subs. And 
you know, I've had a couple of people say like, holy crap, you're like just shy of 3 million. But in reality, you know, I think on average, we do about 600,000 views on a main channel video, unless something I think goes a little more, let's say viral or whatever. And so what that leads me to believe is obviously not everybody can watch every video. So let's say you double that. So there's probably about 1.2 million like consistent viewers. And then there's like a million plus that maybe watch one video every few months or something that comes up that's really specific that we did in a video that they really like. So let's say a cop pullover, okay? I don't go out of my way to make cop pullover videos. They happen when they happen. Sometimes they happen in twos or threes. Sometimes they don't happen for months and months and months. Now, if you came to DDE to obviously watch cop pullover videos and we don't make them for months, then you lose interest. You're not into watching like our typical vlogs or car reveal or whatever. And that's kind of one of the funny things about YouTube or content creation in general is if you're looking to build your own channel or you're looking to build your own content on your some platform, I'll tell you a secret right now, it's be consistent. You know, once you build a base audience, now in the beginning you might be trying different things, but once you build a base audience, you kind of always want to stay within a certain type of content, you know, two or three types. So we have like car reveals, we have car builds, we obviously have the crazy shenanigans when we can get back to the US and we can do road trips and all that. And then with that comes cop pullover. So we kind of got like four, if you will, uh, streams of content on Daily Driven Exotics. We don't really venture outside of that. And when we do our builds, our builds are more like, you know, we work with shops and we do the reveals and we talk about the product and the people that we work with. But it's not like Dave and I with saws, well, the 4, 488 we actually cut up, that wasn't professional. But what I mean is we're not the ones that start a project and build the whole car out and then finish and then start again. So we're not like some of the other channels out there where that's what they do. You know, you can watch them literally unscrew every bolt and every nut and put all back together and they talk about all the mechanical pieces. That just ain't us. That's not what my brain is. I always wanted DD to be an entertainment channel. So as long as you're being entertained uh, one way or another, that makes me happy. That fulfills my vision and my goal with the channel. And yeah, so anyhow, I thought it'd be kind of fun to talk about that because I know you kids out there who watch, you know, YouTube or influencers on whatever platform, you see the big numbers. Trust me, uh, just having that 1 million followers on Instagram or 100,000, if you're not going to engage with those people. And once you know you get a big amount of followers, it's hard to engage with everybody. But the goal is you have to want to engage with your audience like we do with you guys. You know, we put in this effort to do this behind the scenes and have a real like real life conversation opposed to on DV. We do talk to you guys too, but it's more entertainment style, if you know what I mean. Um, anyhow, Dave and I really love all you guys. Thanks for watching the channels. Thanks for watching Instagram or whatever you guys watch that we're on. And um, just know that it ain't about the number. If you're gonna have any number of followers, you need to make sure you engage with them and make sure that you want them to engage with you, right? If someone's not watching your stuff, and they just subscribed, well, they're just useless. There's no point in having, you know, the, the million subscriber placo in my garage doesn't mean shit if I had a million people that subscribed, but only a hundred thousand actually watched the videos, right? Anyhow, I'm done. I'm done ranting. That's my thing for the night. Sorry, it's just me walking around my house right here, but that's all I have for you. See you guys tomorrow. Always another day. Peace.